Hi people, Max RC here. Today I want to please you with my big video about cars. And I'm not going to talk about some ordinary models, we're going to watch the coolest drift ones. All of them are unique and their creation took a lot more than one month. They all have a stunning look and cool features that allow these cars to perform incredible twists on the track. I will not tell more and just start the video. Let's go! Oh yes, I also need to mention about the like, subscription, the bell, all these things. I think you remember. Now let's Let's go! Benz truck is a series of full-size SUVs designed as a military vehicle at the suggestion of the Iranian Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who was a shareholder of Mercedes-Benz at that time. The civilian version of the car was introduced in 1979. And like other Mercedes-Benz vehicle series, the G-Class has retained its unique appearance for decades, where the factory or high-performance won from Mercedes-AMG. This dream board, by the way, is also unique. Just look at this pink color. By the way, I always imagine Ben's truck just like that, as it looks good in pink color. And it turned out to be perfect. Any girl might like it. Well, in our video about drifting cars, we have to mention a representative for BMW. People who ride these cars just love fast driving and, of course, drifting. This exact car reminded me of one of the blogger. Well, because it is the BMW and the color is golden. Leave a like if you thought about him too. Otherwise, the car does not have anything supernatural. And at the same time, it does not stand out for the worse. Just a beautiful, fast, maneuverable, dexterous sedan, which you can drive on a flat road, take part in drag racing with and of course drift. In general, I really liked it. The Chevrolet Camaro is an American muscle car, which has been produced by the Chevrolet division of General Motors Corporation since 1966. Production was stopped in 2002 and resumed on a new technical base in 2009. The Camaro has a sporty silhouette with a long bonnet, a short boot and a set back interior. As many automobile fans have already understood, this is a representative of the first generation. And as for me, this makes it even more charming. Those cool lines on the hood, bright round headlights, an extremely frisky and nimble engine, as well as a pleasant sound. What else do you need to be happy, ladies and gentlemen? Now I suggest checking out another drift car. I liked it for its simplicity and at the same time for its effectiveness. It started quickly on the track and perfectly entered the first and second curve. After all, the authors of the project created such a miracle of drift from an ordinary old children's toy. Of course, they renewed the fill in there and slightly polished the top, but still. By the way, while I was looking at this car, an interesting idea came to my mind. How important are spoilers in these little toys? Do they play such a big part? It seems to me that their importance is barely noticeable and they are added just for a decoration. If you have a different opinion, then feel free to write about it in the comments. As for this car, it could be driven by DK. He's a local drift king and also the nephew of the leader of the Japanese Mafia. Those who have watched the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift will definitely understand me. The Toyo 180SX is made in blue and covered with a variety of stickers. It has slightly tinted windows. The headlights and grille are low slung. You know, it reminded me of the Nissan 180SX. Although, maybe that's what it really is. Well, if you know better, write in the comments. This car is also a spoiler, as for the drift, it is something amazing. It moves so smooth and neat, and in general the model is very beautiful. Well, I think that every car enthusiast has been waiting for this ride. Meet Nissan GTR, a sports car which has been selling since 2008 till present. It has a blue, red, black color with many different stickers on the body. You can see a rather impressive carbon fiber spoiler which gives the car a sporty look. It has tinted windows and a very well-designed hood. I think the headlights can glow, so this peep will even more beautiful at night. As for the drifting abilities, there is no doubt about them. They are perfect. And now, click the like button if you want to have such a car. 
The Toyota Mark II is a four-door mid-size sedan manufactured by Toyota from 1968 to 2004. The Mark II name had been used by Toyota for several decades and was originally used as a part of the Toyota Corona Mark II name. Mark II was introduced to make the car stand out from the main Toyota Corona platform. Once the platform was split in the 1970s, the car became known simply as the Mark II. And as you have already understood, it is this car which is now before our eyes. This red car caught my attention with its unusual wheel structure. During the drift, some of them do not move at all, while the others arches in an abnormal way. Write in the comments if it is a typical situation or it is because the mechanics have done something strange. Next in line is the legendary car Toyota Supra. However, I need to tell to all lovers of the old models of this car that this is not the same one in front of us. This is a restyled version of recent years. But damn it, I didn't know it looks so good too. Don't you like it? It has classic white color, the front part is very pretty and the back part is also cool. This small toy model exactly repeats the original one. Superb! By the way, I want to tell you about the new Supra. Did you know that the first announcement of the fifth generation came in 2013. It was the concept of the new Toyota FT1 car, which strongly resembled the design of the Toyota Supra A80. And the first real prototypes were shown in 2017. The car was developed jointly with BMW, which Toyota Supra fans didn't like at all. The fact is that the new interior of the BMW Z4 is the same as the new Supra has, and technically they differ only in the body. And this is the Datsun 510, also known as the Bluebird, a successful Japanese car which was produced from 1968 to 1974. It was very popular both among the Japanese and the Americans, who even came up with the code name Datsun 1600, as well as among the Australians. The creation of the Datsun 510 was inspired by popular European sedans of that time, including the BMW 1602. Perhaps that is why this Japanese model was dubbed as the BMW for the poor. The car was equipped with the engine with a capacity of 96 horsepower and its speed reached 160 km per hour. High performance at an affordable price, combined with the simple and reliable technology of the 80s, had made the Datsun Bluebird a popular car for almost 40 years and it sparks no less interest and delight to this day. Some people even collect miniature models that could dish it out in drifting. And the way they look is a real art. Once upon a time, the author of this video had an old car. He did not use it because it didn't have the control panel, and in general, it was not remarkable in any way. Then suddenly it dawned on him, what if it can be customized? And so he started. First, he installed the motor and then the radio control. After, these huge wheels were attached and all the internal mechanics were tuned. So what did he get as a result? Ha! Huh, you can see it now. It turned out to be some kind of Bigfoot, capable of excellent drifting, which should not worry at all about the terrain it goes. And so the old car has become the highlight of the project. Now it looks much brighter and more interesting than many modern models. That's it, guys! And this is something like a Mercedes GT, with a spoiler and a sporty color. From the outside, it is not possible to distinguish the ride from a full-sized and real one, well, there is simply no person on earth capable of this. Secondly, although the Mercedes has a grey color, it's nevertheless noticeable from the outside and attracts people. And thirdly, a car of the Mercedes brand cannot be bad. The same applies to our toy Hoti. It easily passes the tracks on the drift court, overtakes the rest and manages to win the heart of the audience. A real master! Let's go for a drive in the Toyota Starlet KP61, a compact car that was produced from 1973 to 1999. The Starlet appeared immediately after the public car, retaining the code P in the body numbering. The first generation was even sold as the Publica Starlet in some markets. By the way, the word Starlet shows us the modest size of the car. I don't know about you, but I like its blue color very much. Besides, it is so neat and cute, as it was designed for girls. And how perfectly it is made. Did you check it out? It has everything. Headlights, logos, license plates, wheel discs with patterns, handlets and even a fuel tank cap. Just awesome! Next in line is just the most legendary car, the Toyota Supra. 
This, by the way, is one of my favorite cars. And while you are admiring this dream boat, I will tell you some interesting facts about it. The Supra was originally a Toyota Celsius. The first generation of the Toyota Supra appeared in 1978, and the Toyota Celica was taken as its basis. Therefore, the car was sold in the domestic market of Japan as the Toyota Celica 20, and outside of Japan as the Toyota Celica Supra. The Toyota Supra name first appeared in 1986, when the Toyota Supra Supra and Toyota Celica became two different models. And also, did you know that the Supra is the world's first car with a navigator? It is noteworthy that this navigation system worked without the help of GPS. It calculated the remaining distance and time to its destination using a speed sensor and indicated the direction of movement with the help of a compass. It was installed optionally and judging by the fact that it's not easy to find a high-quality photo of it on the internet, it cost a lot of money. In childhood, every boy was dreaming of becoming a policeman in order to fight crime, sort out different problems in various dangerous situations and also teach and share experience with the younger generation. By the way, here I have a very cool police car, which has luminous headlights and taillights, as well as red flashing lights located on the roof and in front. A combination of black and white was chosen as the design. There is also an identification word police on different parts of the body. In general, everything looks good, but I would be scared to drift with such a car. You never know if they find you or not. Someone is trying to make car as perfect as possible, creating every bolt and every element so that it will look cool, shining and attract new fans. And these guys, the authors of this project, decided to ignore all the rules. On the contrary, they made the car extremely broken and outwardly unattractive. And what is the paradox? It turned out exactly opposite. It has become to attract people with its extraordinary appearance. See, it looks like it is used by criminals. It's broken and damaged, but definitely there is something in this. Do you agree? And this is a cool Nissan. To be more precise, the Nissan S30, a Japanese sports car that was produced from 1969 to 1978. In the Japanese market, it is known as the Fair Lady Z, and in other countries, you can find it under the names of Datsun 240Z, Datsun 260Z, and Datsun 280Z. The head of Nissan Sport Car Styling Studio, Yoshihiko Mitsuo, took part in the creation of the S30. Each model is equipped with independent McPherson suspension, as well as Chapman rear struts. By the way, some time back the Fair Lady was very popular in the American market. There were many reasons for this, but the main one was its affordability. The car in our video is an exact copy of it, just don't take into account some details added specifically for drifting. It has a black matte color that looks amazing. Besides, the details are also very cool. There are wipers and all kinds of logos and even a designed interior. And this is a very beautiful white Ferrari. And yes, I was also surprised because we're all used to a different color of these cars, especially toy and drift ones. Anyway, the most important thing here is that the car perfectly repeats the details of the original model and enters every turn in a very cool way. Its characteristics are amazing and the speed is breathtaking. Either it is some kind of a driver with golden hands sitting and driving it, or the car is just magical. Although the one does not interfere with the other, other. And this is a pretty cute and unusual Toyota, the main feature of which are these unforgettable eyes. Have you seen videos on the internet of how cars blink them or wink with one of the headlights? In my opinion, this is already enough to get high on such cars and buy them for your own use. Yes, even if you do not buy the original one, then why not get high from such a toy? It looks no worse, yes, it won't give you a ride, but nevertheless, will bring you pleasure. Like, if in childhood you were also thinking that police cars should only look like that. They should be GTRS with awesome tuning, allowing them to drift around the city and catch up even the most nosy villains. This is exactly what I was thinking when I was a child. And it was these sports police cars that I had in my mind. As you have already understood, this is a Nissan GTR. To tell the truth, it's quite old, but this doesn't make it worse. The authors created it perfectly both inside and outside 
opposite side. They strengthened the body, endowed it with a powerful engine, top and suspension, bright headlights and a loud siren. All in all, this is everything you need to chase down delinquents. Sleep well, city, you are in safe hands. And this is the Mazda RX-7, another legendary car. Do you remember that Dominic Toretto was driving it in Fast and Furious? And of course, Han Leo and his debtor Scene were driving it too. Like if you remember which part of the Fast and the Furious it was. The authors of the project decided to rely exclusively on the top-end appearance in the car you see now. They gave it maximum of their attention and efforts. They tried to make it the way that when shooting close, it's impossible to distinguish it from the original one. And you know, I have personally tasted it on the three of my friends, and they all thought that the car was real. I think you would also believe it if you don't know the topic of the video. In any case, the car is fiery, although it does not drift excellently, for the appearance it can be definitely given a big like. And how do you like these brothers? The stylish ones in black and white colors. They are really cool, aren't they? This is the Toyota Mark II JX81 and the Nissan Laurel C33. To be honest, I don't even know which one I like more. Each car is unique in its own way. Do you know what attracts me the most? It is the simplicity and atmosphere. For some reason, I immediately imagine tough boys driving in circles with guns in their hands. There are no bright bodies, stickers, flashy letterings and other trinkets here. There is only broken bumper, only hardcore. But seriously, who stole the bumper, huh? Come across and have you noticed that these two cars have exhaust pipes? If only they could make sounds, it would be cool. Well, this is probably one of the brightest Mazdas of both toy and real ones I have ever seen. They made it super cool. It has cool bright golden wheels and pinkish bodywork. The combination of colors is just top-notch. And the driving process itself is also perfect. Write in the comments if you would like to drive such a car. Or is it something too bright and catchy for you? Write your opinion under the video, it will be interesting to read. We have already checked one GDR in our video today, remember? It was a police car, but I decided not to stop there and add one more model. This time it is not connected with law enforcement and all that, and it is a copy of a rather old model. However, this does not make it worse. You can check it yourself now. This is an awesome GDR model, which has a backlight and a very catchy color. And look at the way the car drifts. I'm just short of words, with the abilities to keep the road to be easily controlled as well as to speed up in a flash, it could take part in the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift and race on narrow paths. All the previous cars were made by the people who had taken the ready-made bodies of the existing cars as a basis. But here, the authors of the project went a step further. They did not tire themselves out of some kind of body. They simply assembled it from improvised materials. So they got some kind of a buggy that no one knows how it goes. But surprisingly, it does it super well and very fast. The car is light, nimble, maneuverable, perfectly controlled and looks cool and creative. In general, this project can definitely get 5 plus points. If they put the finishing touches on some more details and embellish the car a little, it will turn out just amazing. The guys from the next video decided to make a top Nissan. They took the GTR framework as a basis, completely renewed its filling and painted it in bright, defined colors. In the end, they got a crazy Nissan that perfectly negotiates the corner so that it looks more like either a real professional racing or a montage. I can't explain these wheels, angles and clear, smooth turns in another way. And you? When I saw the next car, I completely forgot how old I am. I had only one thought in my head. I want the same for myself. And this is all because this pink truck looks so awesome that it takes your breath away. It sparkles, shimmers and shines. Even the lettering matches so much. Besides, the truck has a well-designed interior. You can even see two leather chairs inside, so it does not look like a cheap children's toy at all. There are also side mirrors, all kinds of lights along with headlights, wipers and even pink wheel discs and it also has cool drifting abilities. Uh, this is everyone's dream, I guess. 
exhaust is certainly an important component of the car. If you don't know, the main purpose of the exhaust system of a conveyor car is to remove exhaust gases from the intake manifold. Besides, the exhaust system also performs auxiliary functions. Usually, they don't tie themselves out with the exhaust, they do everything according to the standard, and that's all. But here, for some reason, the guys decided not just to get into a sweat, but to be over sweating. They put a very long pipe, which is visible from the other end of the earth. To say the least, it looks impressive. Apparently, it doesn't interfere with the drift at all. In short, it makes the car stand out from the others. Oh, I have just figured it out. It looks like the creator of the project has poor eyesight. So, while racing with other drift cars, he always knows where his car is at the moment. I really didn't recognize the next car. From the front, I thought it was a Subaru, but when I saw the back, I immediately changed my mind. Please, write what car this is if you know. The car is blue, has high-quality detailing, beautiful tinted headlights, a spoiler, a perfect suspension and everything else that helps it to drive confidently and reliably. I don't know about you, but I really liked it, and it doesn't matter, I still don't even know its brand. Well, that's all, friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and goodbye for now.